So one of the first steps to making flash games is getting the tools to make these flash games. So um, let's start with the Flixel library. Um, here we are at flixel.org. Um, that's F-L-I-X-E-L dot O-R-G. Um, it's an open source gaming library free for personal and commercial use. So um, uh, in my opinion, it's... Uh, awesome. I love Flixel. I think it's easy to use, very powerful, um, and to prototype and get games put together is, uh, as I said, very easy. Um, so let's get it. So uh, let's click on download, which will take us to this download page. And we have this big download button that we could click, but we're not gonna. Uh, actually, what we're gonna do is scroll down and here we have other downloads um, that will make Flixel uh, and programming in X and Script 3 much easier. Um, the first thing we're going to need is a development environment. Um, as you see, we have Flash Develop, uh, which is free program for Windows. Sorry, uh, Mac and Linux users, uh, Flash Develop is only for Windows. And in my opinion, it's the best of these three options, even better than uh, Adobe's Flash Builder program. But um, yeah, if you're on a Mac, I think Flash Builder is probably one of the better choices that you have. Other than that, you have command line tools, um, which um, if you if you roll like that, <laughs> you can uh, do some command line compiling and programming and whatnot. And uh, as they say, if you're on Linux, this is your only option. So let's get Flash Develop. Here's Flash Develop. Um, pretty easy to get. Just click this download link here, and it'll take you to this forum. And if you scroll down, we have this button here. This is Download Flash Develop 4.01, 0.1. Anyways, uh, <laughs> you click that and uh, you can download it wherever you want. Um, I already have it downloaded and installed, so I won't be doing that. But uh, it's fairly self-explanatory. Um, it uh, might take a little bit to install because it, once it starts, it will install the files, but then it will also ask you if you want to install the Flex SDK. And yes, you want that. It's required to uh, use Flixel and uh, yeah so get that it's good um, so once that's done let's actually get Flixel as we were intending to do so as I said maybe we won't use this what we're actually is going go what we're actually going to get is um, Flixel power tools which is uh, sort of an some plugins for Flixel um, made by Richard Davey also I guess known as Photon Storm uh, it's it's very cool um, it has Flixel bundled with it of course uh, but it also has some additional uh, things to make using Flixel even that much more easy um, for example, this weapons uh, section of the plugin uh, does a lot of things like uh, making it easier to have animated bullets or fire toward the mouse or things like that. Um, just makes using Flixel a lot easier. Um, so let's get this. Um, again, uh, I believe at the top here, um, you can get the latest version 1.9 at GitHub. Okay, so click the download button and uh, save it wherever you'd like. Um, I've already have it saved here, so uh, let's say I download it. It downloads really quick. It's just some uh, source code, so it's really small file size. Um, and then let's take a look at what we have inside this 
zip file. So we'll open it up and see we have this folder which has the same name as this zip file. Let's just extract it there. Take a little bit of time. And okay, there it's extracted. So inside here we have, you know, uh, the docs, you know, how to use it, uh, uh, and things like that. Um, and then there's a guide on how to use the things uh, in Flixel Power Tools. And then we also have the ver our versions. I think these are the two latest versions of Flixel. Um, 2.55 is what I use. Um, I think maybe there's some conflicts or, I guess, bugs. So some people like to use the earlier version. Um, and then we have the test suite, which is uh, uh, just shows you the demos of the power tool stuff. Uh, we won't really need to worry about that just now. And actually, we might not even really use Flixel power tools so much, but it's good to have anyway. Um, so just keep note of where you extracted that. Um, actually, I have the same thing inside this Flixel Power Tools 1.9 folder. Um, so we'll just do that. <laughs> but, uh, oh, I have it open in this zip here. Let me try. Okay, there. It's deleted. Um, so let's move on. Uh, so we have Flixel. So next, let's get Nape. So back at the Flixel download page, we have Nape. So let's click that link. And here we are at Nape. Um, okay, let's uh, stop right there. Um, I'm going to insert this video in now. <laughs> Uh, actually, I made a mistake on uh, what to download for NAPE. Um, so let's go to the NAPE page again here. And before I went to the, this downloads page and downloaded these here. But actually, these are the old versions. Um, what you'll want to do is click on this link here and download one of these. Um, I think for our purposes we can just do debug because I believe they say uh, yeah for general development purposes you should always use debug build um, so let's go ahead and use that for these tutorials. Um, so that's all. Wherever you want to put it. Download it. Once again it's also very quick. So that's it for downloading everything. Um, next, we will go into how to set everything up inside of Flash Develop.